Suppose we want to put something in space. What do we need to do? To answer this, we first have to be clear on what we mean by put stuff in space. Most people agree that space is high enough above the Earth and its atmosphere that if you look up, you see this, and if you look down, you see this. The trouble is that, like many things, the Earth's atmosphere is a continuum, and any dividing line between not space and space is arbitrary. In the US, 50 miles is generally considered to be the edge of space, and internationally, the 100 kilometer line is used. But now we have another problem. Just because we drop off a spaceship or fancy transmitter beyond the edge of space doesn't mean it will stay there. At that distance from Earth, objects still weigh 90% of what they do at the Earth's surface. That means that our expensive spaceship is going to quickly fall back to Earth. So how do we get something to space and make it stay there? The trick is orbit. It works something like this. Imagine you fire a big cannon. The momentum of the ball will try to make it move in a straight line in the direction it is fired, but gravity will pull it toward the center of the Earth. As a result, the path of the cannonball will curve, roughly following what appears to be a parabola, a path known as a ballistic trajectory. The faster you fire the cannonball, the more momentum the ball has to resist gravity, so the wider the base of the parabola and the higher the peak. At some point, the base becomes so wide, we see that it is not a parabola at all, but is actually part of an ellipse. If the ball is fired fast enough, it has so much momentum that even though it curves toward the center of the Earth, its path comes all the way back to the starting point without running into the Earth on the way. This is orbit. An object in orbit is constantly falling toward the Earth. It's just moving so fast that the planet moves out of the way before they collide. Note that on a planet with an atmosphere, like Earth, orbit only works if you are above most of the atmosphere and can avoid air resistance. On an airless world like the moon, you could theoretically orbit right above the surface, as long as you didn't crash into a hill. How fast is fast enough for orbit? Enormously fast. The International Space Station, for example, is traveling more than seven and a half kilometers per second. That is more than 10 times faster than a bullet out of a 22 rifle. Getting a large object to move this fast isn't easy and requires some of the most complex engineering in human history.